Back in the day, yeah, I mean, if you went to Mercedes-Benz and, and you wanted the, the best, and that was, you know, 560 SEL or SEC, and you got it and it wasn't quite all that you wanted it to be, you know, yeah, you could bring that car to AMG, and as long as you had enough, you know, enough zeros on the end of your check, they would do it. Didn't, didn't matter what you asked for, you know, they'd make it happen. And that was, that was one of the really cool things about AMG, it was whatever you wanted, as long as you pay for it, it would make it a reality. When AMG first put the, these cars together, this chassis with this engine, they didn't really have a name for it yet. But then uh, a writer from, I don't know if it was Road and Track or Car and Driver or who, one of them said when you, you floor it, it's, it's like a hammer. Hits you in the back, and, you know, it just takes off. The Falterbach, you know, they, they like the name Hammer because one, it's the same in English as it is in German. It's just a great name for a car. You know, it, uh, it works, works so well, especially given what they were doing and what it was, what it was designed to, to be. Make many of them. I think the total production is somewhere in the 30s. How many people were willing to spend 160, 180, 200 thousand dollars on you know, fast wagons and sedans back in the 80s? It's so different from from your your normal Mercedes station wagon. I mean, it has all the the functionality is there, but at the same time. You know, there's, uh, she lets you know that there's, there's, there's something angry under the hood. And if you don't utilize it enough, she'll let you know, you know, it's, it doesn't enjoy just being dawdled around. It wants to spend time from, from four to 6,000. And, and once you bring it there, all is right. It's, it's addictive. And again, it makes, it makes a noise and a feel. It's different from every other engine. Uh, only one AMG ever produced uh, for a client up in up in Canada, and uh, he actually had it made for his for his wife. The car originally started life as a, as a diesel, oddly enough, because they they weren't bringing the gas powered wagons to North America yet. They got a diesel wagon in, and then went through the whole hammer treatment of gutting everything, and in this case, even the uh, the wiring and electricals, because now they had to make it talk gas as opposed to just diesel and uh, did the full-on six liter, you know, 32 valve M117 uh, based off the S-Class bottom end, the modified transmission, their own rear subframe to house the S-Class differential with a limited slip and the usual suspension upgrades, springs, shocks, brakes, wheels, body kit, a few interior things, goodly bit of audio gear, Nakamichi stuff from back in the day. The advent of the SUV hadn't really come yet, so the, the, the mom car was still the station wagon. I'm just conjecture here. I guess she's like, why, why do you get to have all the fun? I would like to have some too. So, you know, make, make me one. 400 horsepower wagon back in 1987 was, uh, was a good time and people, people didn't expect it. The, the rear facing seats are, are awesome when you're, you know, seven, eight years old wave or maybe other gestures at the people behind you as, you, as your father drives away and it's, uh, it's a good time, you know, stuff you never forget. Uh, my father ran a uh, Concours restoration shop when I needed a car at one point. He made the offer of getting one that he had, an old 1979 280SE, had unknown amount of miles on it, but the deal was that I could have it basically if I fixed it, got it running, so I did and I drove that car for five, six years. Couldn't kill it, no matter what I did. You know, it just it absolutely wouldn't die. And giving I was trying so hard and it refused, I figured there really must be something to this mark and that kind of got me into it. saying it, but you, you feel special you do you know because you you know you know nobody else is driving one of these 
it makes it an event when you take it out. Even if no one else knows, you know, I know, and it's awesome.